Hi, well, thank you very much, everybody, for being here. It's a pleasure for me to be talking about technologies and especially talking about active methodologies. When we're talking about active methodologies, we don't understand the learning uh, process as receiving information. We understand the learning process of the student as a building process. So now with active methodologies, we don't conceive that moment as practicing something that I'm receiving first. It is in the process of doing when the student acquires the knowledge. Why is it so challenging for teachers to use technologies in their class? And then you have different options there. 66% think that the most difficult part is the managing part. All right. I supposed that you were going to answer something like that because my experience says that normally that's the problem. Chroma key is the, um, the technique that you use for the weather forecast, for example. You record uh, the students with a green background and after that you replace the green color by a picture or a video. Right, so it looks like you are actually in a different place, and and not with a green with a green background. So you can record a student in London, <laughs> being actually in the in the classroom. They love this because they they feel that they they're actually creating a, a movie like in a professional way. So we have the app called green screen by do ink this one is the one that i use for for apple it's great it's amazing very easy very simple to use but it gives you a lot a lot of possibilities and then for android you have chroma camera this is very very easy very simple and this one is for free then digital books this is for you to create digital books in, in tablets, okay? So this is the app that I use called Scribble Press and it's for Apple and Android. I use this one because it has a lot of options. You can add text, drawings, stickers that you have here, your own pictures in here, but especially the part that I like the most about this, this app is that you can add audio. So you can create real books in, in tablets and you can take pages. But when you're on a page, if you recorded a sound, it could be like an audiobook and you could be listening to the student, an narrator or an audiobook of the text that they have here. I would say that it would be a great thing and a great idea to ask students in secondary to create books for the little ones. Thanks very much for being here with me this evening.